Hey everyone, it's Andrew and Rosario from Benefits TV talking today about an article that we saw recently in the Wall Street Journal and the article is titled, These People Who Work From Home Have a Secret. They Have Two Jobs. Now, without even going into what the article talks about, um, and Rosario, please weigh in. Obviously, you're going to. Um, <laughs> I know several people that have two full-time jobs because COVID allowed them to do it. So they either work from home and they manage both jobs there, or they're doing it from the desk of one, which you can make the argument that there's some ethical issues there. However, it seems to be working for them and it seems to be working for the other employers, even though I don't think they know. What do you think? Uh, well, my question is why? I think that it, as an employer, I would be asking why is my employee think or feel the need to get another job mm -hmm. same position just different company is it something that they're not being fulfilled here at our company is it the pay is it uh i mean the pen so much um with people are losing their jobs so you can understand that you know somebody's going to want to take two jobs maybe because their spouse or loved one um lost their job during the pandemic and hasn't been able to find a job um but so i i think that that's my my question is 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 why why is well i i mean i can tell you the people that i know who've done mm -hmm. this it's it's all about the money it has nothing to do with fulfillment okay. um at least from what i know um because you know now they're making if they're making 70,000 in their first job now they're making another 60 70,000 so now they're making 130 140 whereas they wouldn't they wouldn't have a chance to do that in just one in just one job right and pre covid you wouldn't be able to do this no you absolutely not so i mean i go back and forth. i only have one job but it's i mean i i can see why people are doing it and i can see that employers will have an issue with it when when they find out about it if and when if and it's but it's something that they're going to have to grapple with right i mean right. you these employers it's okay well if i tell them they have to leave that other job then am i going to lose them all together right if, they're, if their productivity hasn't been impacted mm -hmm. they're still getting the job done then mm -hmm. is it a problem right i think that is uh, definitely something that employer could lose out on a really good employee but again especially if, they're, if they, it's more of a demanding, you know, you have to leave that other job if they find out. But like you said, if productivity hasn't changed, then I think, you know, again, the, the, the question is, like, is an employer willing to find out the reasons why? Mm -hmm. Because you are also losing loyalty. Right, right. You know, so if, are they going to put their other job aside you know when there's an a, an emergency happening you know are they going to if it push comes to shove are they going to choose your company over whatever other company they're working for so loyalty is definitely a question right. um and is the employer willing to find out willing to to learn and do you think it's something that an employer will eventually have to accept it, yeah uh yeah, I'm not sure yet. I mean, it's something that's that's here now, obviously. So employers oh, yeah. have to have to be mindful of it, but they're going to have to find out, you know, what's going to work for them. I think right. accept it in some ways, right. but if it's a really demanding job, mm -hmm. and to your point about the loyalty, if if the company or if the employee picks the other company because there's something more pressing than helping right. company A out then yeah, that's, that's a problem. Right. That's a problem. And, but that may never happen depending, never happen, depending right? on the level of the job. Now, if it's a higher demanding job, then the person is probably not going to have two jobs most likely. Right. But, but I, I yeah. What, what do you think about that? I think, um, it, it's, it's hard because I, like you said, I, I understand why, and I understand it being money being the only factor and the only um reason why an employee would do this i can understand that again because especially when people are losing jobs yeah. um they want to have something solid but my question is is their company not letting them feel solid 
that they feel like they need to have something else? Or is it strictly just, I want to double my income and I can now, which is awesome that they can, especially if it's in the same uh, type of position, just different industry, maybe, you know, I think it's still, it's a, it's a challenge that people have are rising to. And I think it is going to become more common because of the remote work. Um, yeah, it's going to become more common and employers need to figure out what they're going to do. Yeah. Yes, definitely. And how they're going to, because they can lose out on something really good too. Mm -hmm. yeah, know, so they, so they, they just have to weigh the pros and cons, but then, yeah. but then they also can't uh, say, okay, we'll do it for, for you, but not you. Yes you know discrimination so issues yes it's going to be challenging it's going to be and challenging so it'll be interesting to see how it plays out definitely so it we want to hear from you if you have any thoughts on this um please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below or you can always dm us on instagram at benefits tv